Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And another daily dose of Disney unsurprise. 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 We had an unsurprise video this morning talking about how Disneyland is not going to reopen as planned. We don't know when it's going to reopen. And the other unsurprise is that Disney is actually retheming Splash Mountain as the Princess and the Frog. A very, very unsurpri unsurprise to you. Yeah. To you. Yeah, no, I mean, this. Uh, here's the thing, guys. This is not a new, this was not a new rumor. This was around for a while, this I, idea, the re retheming Splash Mountain. Yeah, let's let's you know, walk this back. Because the one thing I want to debunk in this video is that th this petition is the reason why they changed the attraction. I don't think so. I don't um, think so either. And even in their own statement they put out, they say that it, it wasn't. And you can't get this, you can't get this kind of concept art, guys, in like a week or two. Yeah, I mean, it's, look, I've been hearing rumors. We, again, you know, used to cover Disney parks full time. That was the job. We had a Disney mm -hmm. podcast for years, uh, worked in and around Disney. And I've been hearing for like a decade yeah. that they've been looking at a replacement for Splash Mountain. The ride was controversial while they were building it. We've heard what? We've heard Princess and the Frog. We've heard Pocahontas. Stitch. We've heard Stitch. Yeah, we've heard, uh, what else? Is there any other ones? Oh, Moana. Moana was We've was heard, a, a we've heard yeah. several different, you know, iterations of this um, over the years. So this is no surprise that they were going to do this. Um, I don't know what people are acting like, you know, oh, do you think that really they really were planning this or not? Yeah, yes. I do. Yes, what? they absolutely were. Disney will come up with these ideas. Imagineering will come up with these ideas and they will sit on those ideas for years, sometimes decades mm -hmm. until they, they do something with them. What happened was because of the uh, protests, I believe they fast tracked something they were actually uh, going to do anyway. Probably. But probably after the 50th right so you know you have a reason for thinking this you might as well explain because you know people are probably like what do you mean yeah this is um this stinks to high heaven we had somebody on twitter mention petitions and you know there was a petition to try to save the redhead um which again we want to mention that the reason it was changed was because an internal organization eternal group they put together claimed it was a problem so they they changed it even though no one really complained about it but disney never does anything out of pure benevolence nope and i've got a couple of theories here the pirates of the caribbean they had supposedly they had an internal board of uh women look at it and say this is problematic let's change it the actual motivator uh, I believe is that they wanted a new female lead for the Pirates movies because the change went down when they were having a uh, PR nightmare with Johnny Depp. Right. So, okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. 40,000 people wanted them to keep the redhead as okay. is. Disney didn't care. Media made a big deal about retheming Splash Mountain to Princess and the Frog. Victory. This petition made change with only 21,000 supporters. Right. So here's the thing, guys. What's the other one have? Well, and, oh, and the one to save it has more. Yes. Um, so I'm telling you, Disney, they already decided what they're going to do. And they're going to be like, oh, look, we got a victory. And look, even the, the friendly media is trying to spin it. Uh, this is was the Washington Post is trying to spin it. That was because of uh, a, a petition with only 20,000 signatures. OK, um, they wouldn't have put this concept art together in a week and a half. Right. And here's the thing. They probably were going to do it anyway. They knew it was going to face backlash when they announced it. They knew they yes. were going to get a shit storm when this happened because anytime they've mentioned in the past or brought up, people have been very angry about it. So now they can push it through and they have an excuse to do it. Um, they should have been done, you know, before or whatever. That could be argued to the cows come home. I'm not going to get into this whole political bull crap over it. But... I do, I, do I think they use this opportunity to shove it in there and then have like a smoke screen? Yeah, I do. So here's what I think is actually going on. Uh, Disney never, never skips out on an opportunity to pimp princess merchandise. Yeah, like uh, Maelstrom. They made that, you know, uh, frozen. frozen. They're basically going around. If, if the attraction doesn't get a retheme for something they just bought, okay, uh, they retheme it as a Disney princess thing. Um, Selling the South, nobody knows what it was because Disney has buried the movie uh, since 1980s. Nobody knows. So they're going to look at this. For them, it's a win-win. Like, oh, look, we can look like we're the good guys. We can look like mm -hmm. we're on the right side of history. We can look like we did this and we're hearing you, people. We're hearing you. But the reality is, is they're probably like, look at all the money we can make off of Tiana Princess merchandise. Right. 
And it, Disney even said in their own official announcement that this has been planned since last year. Yes. People are questions like, no, they aren't. They just threw it together. No, no. I honestly think they had it planned from, for a while because um, well, they probably even had some of these different different concepts or uh, art for different IPs laying around. Yes. People want Princess of Rock. Oh, we have that. Let's find it in the files. Yes. You know, this. They were, they've been saying it. We've been hearing this rumor for quite a while now. We've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, I, 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 this does not surprise me at all. And the fact that, that you know Disney doesn't do anything fast. They don't do anything without an ulterior motive. Yeah, and there's always an ulterior motive. They were going to retheme Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain has been living on borrowed time for at least 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people bring it up. It comes up every once in a while. It comes up often. Yeah, anytime anybody mentions Song of the South, they're like, well, that's fine, Disney. You buried the movie, well, but you still have a ride. They probably were doing this last year, too. I'll tell you why. Last year, the, this whole thing came up again because of Disney Plus. Yes. And they weren't put, they were supposed to put Song of the South on, and they mm -hmm. didn't. And then last year, was a whole big backlash. People were whining about the, the being rethemed last year. So if they did plan this last year, it makes sense because it probably it was in rega regards to that they knew it was going to be a fight when they announced it but yes. now they have a way to be the, the good guys no you know on top of course they're gonna take it's like when they announced Iger was stepping down uh, people were like why did they just bring that up when they did the stock was already crashing a bunch yeah. of other stuff was happening they could just it was it, stick it in while it's already falling it's a lot easier to, to bury it in the fall than have another fall later you know just throw it in there we're already going down now announce it now I mean I'm just telling you because they can hide it. So that's what they're trying to do. Um, but I just want to I just want to point out here that, uh, you know, people are going to be like, oh, this is a victory. Twitter got a victory. It's like, no, 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 no. They were already doing it. Um, they're they're doing it in California and Florida. Uh, Splash Mountain Tokyo, I don't think is getting a change. Now, I just want to bring this up real quick because I used to work on Disney comics and a lot of the comics I worked on. I recolored and retouched a bunch of Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox yep. comics. Those characters are still popular overseas because they don't have the baggage over there. Because over, you know, overseas in the Netherlands, especially, they don't talk about uh, Song of the South very much. They talk about the cartoon characters, but they don't really talk about Song of the South. They so, were separate from them. They, they separated them. Yeah, they the... separated them out. I think I actually worked on. I think I actually worked on this page. This might be one of mine. It and looks it, like your your stuff with the the way you agreed. Yeah, this, it. I might have actually colored this one. Um, anyway, but I colored these comics for years, and again, it was like Splash Mountain. There was no reference to Uncle Remus or any of that. It was just funny cartoon animals doing mm -hmm. stuff, and you know, overseas they wouldn't get the. Uh, Plus, as we connection. mentioned, the only reason that I think Disney went with Song of the South to begin with was because they already had all the animatronics from yeah. America Sings that fit in with the animals. What do we have that can work at the time? Song of the South. So that's why they did it. It was just a way to cheap out to begin with. So, so of course, Disney's going to put a positive spin on it and not mention everything going on. Uh, the Parks blog said, we're thrilled to share a first glimpse of a project Imagineers have been working on since last year. So they do admit it's been longer than that. People though. are like saying no, it wasn't. It was just thrown together. That no. concept art was not just thrown together. No, it wasn't. Uh, Splash Mountain at both Disneyland Park and California Magic Kingdom, not in Tokyo. We'll yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, will soon be completely reimagined. The theme is inspired by an all-time favorite anime Disney film, The Princess and the Frog. Because that's uh, what everybody was yelling and they wanted. Uh, yeah, they were already working on it because I'd heard another rumor that they were going to dock the uh, the steamboat, mm -hmm. the Liberty Bell, and turn it into a Tiana restaurant. Yeah, that was out there, too. Yeah, and then they talked about Moana being thrown in there somewhere with Tiki Room and stuff, too, and at Splash Mountain before. Right, so it's going to take place in the bayou with Mardi Gras and all that. It's going to fit in in Disneyland, but it's going to be weird as hell in it Magic is. Kingdom. It's going to be really weird um so you know we can talk more about this in another video maybe we'll do a follow-up uh it's gonna be interesting to see how disney fans react i know twitter of course loves it but we have a lot of people who a lot are, of people are mad a lot of people are mad too we knew this was gonna happen yeah and disney knew it was gonna happen again i think you're right i think they waited for uh, a window of opportunity to drop this on people. Mm -hmm. They were going to do something like this anyway, but they they knew it was going to be backlash. And it probably was in play last year after the backlash over Disney Plus. And they were just waiting for this, gave them the perfect opportunity to come out on top and look like they're winning and they're listening to people, even though the petitions numbers are completely up. The ones that wanted it changed is much smaller numbers than the ones who didn't. Um, if they're, they were claiming them by petitions, that, that didn't save anything else in the past. So why yeah, would it, it suddenly it, matter not, now? Because it, it didn't. Matter. It's just a window opportunity to make them look like they that they 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 listen and they're on top. Yeah, look at this. If we're putting it to vote after almost a month or two weeks, twenty thousand supporters, 
just in the last, uh, I don't know when this one started, but they've got nearly twice as many. And people are signing it every minute. Mm-hmm. And Disney's, look at this. They're this not going to change it, guys, because they already it. announced it and they're not going to because it has nothing to do with the petitions. The petitions are a lie. It's about they were going to do it anyway, and they're just using this window opportunity to make it, to spin it, to make it look like that they're they're the do-gooders. And yep. that's what they're going to do because that's what Disney does. And I'm sorry people don't like that I'm saying that, but that's the way it works. That's how corporations work. And it doesn't make it less true just because you think it's not as, as magical as the idea that Disney just cares about everything and it's all about the magic and they don't care if it costs them a lot of money as long as it's magic. That's not the facts. So, so you know something's going to get chopped to pay for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably because I don't, well, I mean, they are, they didn't have it in play. No. So, you know, I mean, they were, I, well, here's the interesting thing. We, they didn't give a timeline. Uh, supposedly, everybody's saying that it's gonna, it's still gonna be Splash Mountain for the foreseeable yeah. future. They haven't announced a closing date yet, so for now, we don't even know what the timeline is. It could just be that they're putting us out there, and it might sit this way for two years until they get to it. Who knows? Uh, I thought I read somewhere that late 2020 was. Is that what they said when they're gonna close it? Yeah. I, when I saw it, in the, what Disney put out there, it did not say late 2020. Yeah, this I think was coming from the um, the OC register. Um, no, they're talking. No, they're about, not giving it. No, they, there's no date. Hmm. So it, they're putting it out there, um, but they aren't really giving a timeline. So and they've done this before, and then they did, they turn around and cancel things. So who the hell knows? Spaceship Earth, Spaceship Earth. Who the hell knows? So, so uh, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be interesting to watch. Disney fans again. I mean, they were booing the change on Pirates of the Caribbean at D twenty three. Made no difference whatsoever. No. Good thing D twenty three was canceled. Uh, well, there was no D twenty three this year anyway, so it wouldn't matter. But I mean, yeah. good thing it wasn't like during D twenty three when they made this announcement because they thought the print the the uh, redhead was bad. Uh, this would have gotten far more backlash. Yeah. So anyway, um, again, leaving personal opinions out of it for now. Uh, we're just letting you know what's going on. We're going to wrap this one up. Yep. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.